Aston Rovers again witness this game finally getting underway after it was abandoned in the last minute last uh, Wednesday night by the police there on this ground saying the terracing was unfit the ground was passed to be played and here come the witness team now but the Featherstone Rovers team number one Alan Banks two is A another three is Paul Newell four is Terry Manning five is Mark Napper six is Timmy Sharp seven is Derek Fox the captain eight Jeff Grace nine Trevor Clark ten Aaron Pulele eleven Gary Rose 12 Chris Burton, 13 Ian Smells and substitutes are 14 Andy Fisher and 15 Alan Dakin. The witness team for this evening, number one Alan Tate, two is John Devereaux, three is John David Marsh, four is Darren Wright, five is Jonathan Davis, six is Tony Myler, seven David Jume, eight Derek Pike, nine Phil McKenzie, ten Mike O'Neill, eleven Paul Moriarty, twelve Emerson Collette Colotel, thirteen Richard Ayres and substitutes are 14 David Smith and 15 Joel Grimmer. Referee for today is Mr Colin Morris all the way from Huddersfield. And so there we are, the, the scene's all set here at Post Office, so Feathers and Always after a, a, terrific, a terrific win last Sunday at Warrington where the team was absolutely in outstanding form, a terrific performance for all those who travelled over the Pennines, Feathers and Always, a, a terrific win, witness scoring a try in the very last minute there at Wakefield and Jonathan Davis kicking a touchline goal to draw with Wakefield 10 apiece but just came to back, back to that Feathers and Rose. terrific win a, a good team performance people are saying to me tonight that Martin Afire is out for witness and uh, Kurt Sorensen out but nobody's mentioning that Feathers and Rovers have got Chris Bibb missing from the side as well as Gary Price still missing from the team and Glenn Bell having to go back to New Zealand having served an eight match suspension also missing on the Featherson lineup is either a party for the for his second match missing so Featherson always having a lot of players missing as well as witness uh, for, for this evening's match so all in all it's uh, half a dozen of one and uh, six of the other so here we go witness getting prepared to to kick off Derek Fox there winning the toss And the referee there not happy with the ball, kicking another ball on the field. I don't know what's up with the other one. I can't believe it. I've never seen all like it. Well, I think that's the first time I've ever seen that. The referee calling for the sand bucket for the players to kick off. So there we are, there we go, witness kicking off and Feathers from all with possession straight away. Terry Manning there, trying to be Terry Manning straight down the middle, Terry Manning through the gap. Marvellous run by Terry Manning that. That's the start of what Feathers from Rovers needed. Starting where they finished on Sunday there. That's good tackling by witness number 11 there, Paul Moriarty on Trevor Clark, but it's Timmy Sharp with the ball now. Feathers from Rovers, Tim Sharp halfway through the gap, but that's good tackling by Mike O'Neill. Marvellous start for the Snowbers. This old Derek Fox with the ball now. There to Jeff Grayson. Jeff Grayson over. Jeff Grayson back up there for Derek Fox. Derek Fox coming outside. Derek Fox is taking the ball. Derek Fox marvellous try to Featherston Rovers in the corner. And who scored that Featherston Rovers? It's Gary Rose there putting his hand up here. Yes, he enjoys that. What a marvellous start for Featherston Rovers. They started off, I mentioned in the match preview there, where they finished at Warrington last week. On Sunday, Gary Rose there scoring a try, 15 yards from that corner flag. But all that coming, Winder striking the ball off there, Tony Marler kicking the ball, kicking it deep. Terry Manning getting it on his own goal line, getting the ball, going straight through the middle there. And from, and from the play of the ball there, from the play of the ball there, Aaron Player to Derek Fox, Derek Fox there to Jeff Grayson and Jeff Grayson who had a blinding game on Sunday, straight through the gap, Derek Fox backed him up and Derek Fox turned that ball inside there for Gary Rose to put that ball over that witness try line, 10 yards from that post. Featherson always four, witness nil and this conversion to come yet from Derek Fox, here we go, Derek Fox here just lining this kick up, there we go, straight between the middle, Featherson over six, witness nil.
So here we go, another start. Well, I can remember on this ground last uh, last season. And Terry Manning there again, picking that ball up. Can he, can he repeat the performance? No, not this time. That's good tackling that by number 10 there, Mike O'Neill. Tell him with his ear caps on Mike O'Neill. I've just been saying there, on this ground last season, Featherston, uh, Featherston always found themselves 10 points down after two minutes of play. And after that, they were the better team, so can Featherston always do the opposite on witness this evening? But so Derek Fox with the ball now, Derek Fox there to Jeff Grayson, Jeff Grayson carry that ball away there to Gary Rose. Marvellous play by Featherston, but good tackling that time by witness. So it's Trevor Clark there now to Derek Fox, that long ball out there to Terry Manning, Terry Manning there to Mark Napper. But Mark Napper there having to come in from touch, he's lost the ball in the tackle, but it's all on. Referee shall bite them tackles off, which he does do. Featherston always back to six. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now, Derek Fox to Jeff Grayson, Jeff Grayson there to Ian Smales. Ian Smales being rolled over the tackle there by Mike O'Neill. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now there to Jeff Grayson, Jeff Grayson there. But referee there awarding the forward pass. So it's a scrum down, 15 yard inside for this one, was half of the field it'll be. Number seven there to feed the scrum for witness. And it's in David Jones feeding the scrum back after injury. David Jones had a successful series in the in the test against New Zealand this winter. So David Jones there getting up to play the ball there, big big number twelve there, Colotto there, trying to drive it up to that Featherston Overs 25 yard line. Now it's Moriarty with the ball now. That's a big drive that by Paul Moriarty, but no way through this Featherston Overs defence, sticking firm. So it's. So it's Alan Tate now, this very dangerous fullback here, Great Britain number one. Trying to bring play up to that Featherstone Rovers 25 yard line. So it's Phil McKenzie now trying to make straight. That's good tackling. Marvellous tackling that by Featherstone Rovers there. Big Trevor Clark there wrapping his big arms around him and the ball's up in the air. It's all on. Alan Banks there underneath the ball for Featherstone Rovers. Marvellous step by Alan Banks there. That's good play by Alan Banks. Referee says play on. Windus off onside at that, at that kick. And it's a bad mistake there by Timmy Sharp losing that ball. And Witness there nearly scoring that try. Tim Sharp there just taking it out of that ball and it's all on now. For the snow was here with the ball, but Colin Morris there, the referee, blowing him back for a knock on the uh, So it'll be another scrum down, pressure on this Feather Snowbus try line. It's still Feather Snowbus 6, Witness nil. So oh, there we are, David Jung feeding this scrum now. Oh, it's a bad mistake by Tony Marlon, knocking that ball on. Referee there, Mr. Morris, up with play all the time. Spotting that forward pass to Jeff Grayson there. Just about on the halfway line, spotting that knock on there by Tim Sharp. And just spotting that knock on there now by Tony Marlon. So it'll, it'll be another scrum down. Derek Fox to feed the scrum. So the ball's in, it's out to Robles. Derek Fox to the ball now there to Tim Sharp. Tim Sharp there, taking Tony Marlon on his opposite number. But being tackled here. So he gets up now, plays the ball. <laughs> so another mistake there by the Rovers team there, losing that ball there on getting the ball from the pack. So it's it's what it's witness now, and that's a bad mistake. And referee says play on. So it's Moriarty with the ball now, taking this defence up on that right-hand side of the field now, but being tackled there, just five yards inside, Feathers and Rovers, 25-yard line, so Windus now trying to throw this ball about, but Feathers and Rovers moving up very quickly indeed. Derek Pike with the ball there. Derek Pike still going, tackled about 15 yards short of that Feathers and Rovers try line. So it's McKenzie now from acting our pattern here to David Jones. David Jones turning the ball back inside there to Big Colotto. Colotto there striding towards that try line, but no way through. David Jones from acting our pattern now there to Phil McKenzie. Phil McKenzie taking this defence on the back inside there to Mike O'Neill to Enoch Colotto there. This is good play by Windus, but Feather Snowbus sticking to the task, sticking to the ball. Tony Marley there with the ball. Tony Marley getting rid of the ball in the tackle. Referee says play on, it's still all on. So it's Colotto with the ball now, driving it in. Well, that's good tackling by Rovers. Derek Fox straight between the legs there, that's a good tackling. So Mike O'Neill, that big 
Th that big up London, the ball's bounced awkward. Paul Moriarty is scoring the try, Rovers letting that ball bounce over the own try line. Paul Moriarty there taking that ball and scoring the try. Featherson over six, witness four with his conversion to come. So here we are now, Jonathan Davis. This should be a formality there for the number five, the Welsh Wizards of the call, him in Rugby Union. There we go, Featherson over six, witness six. So there we are, the game's barely for nine minutes old, it's Feathers Rovers, six, Widnes six, so all start again. So it's Widnes's ball, way inside their own 25-yard line from that Dirty Fox kick-off. But Trevor Clark there making the tackle. And Gary Rose there, first man to the ball there, so Jonathan Davis, that big boot upfield there, so that's a bad mistake there by Jonathan Davis, so it's a ball back. So it'll be a scrum down inside. Witness is 25 yard yard area. It'll be Derek Fox to feed the scrum. Leading up to that witness try, two bad mistakes by Feathers and Rose losing the tackle on the first tackle. Ball time, losing the ball. So it's Timmy Shout with the ball now. There to Pornell, Pornell through the gap. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now, there to Gary Rose, Gary Rose there, after his second try in the match. He'll run it in all day, will Gary Rose, had a marvellous game at Warrington on Sunday. So it's Featherstone Rovers now, pressing on this witness try line, so it's Jeff Drayson with the ball now, Jeff Drayson trying to turn round in the tackle. But Paul Moriarty watching him all the way, making the tackle. So it's Derek Fox now from acting half at Derek Fox now there to number 10 there, Aaron Playler, Aaron Playler there, tackled two yards short of that try line, gets up, plays the ball to Trevor Clark, Trevor Clark back inside there to Jeff Creation, Jeff Creation there trying to get rid of the ball there in the tackle, but Witness's ball, that's good tackling by Witness there. So Witness now, they turn to bring it away from their own from their own try line now, from the all in goal edge, which the Featherstone Rovers are keeping pinned down there, and he's lost the ball. Well, referee there saying Featherstone Rovers trying to pinch the ball after the tackle was made. Penalty kick now to, to Widnes. So here we go, Jonathan Davis, no mistake this time, straight into touch. Brings play up halfway between the halfway line and the Widnes 25-yard line. So it's Phil McKenzie with the ball now, trying to bring his fours onto the ball here. Big number eight there, Derek Pike trying to turn round in the tackle. So it's Phil McKenzie with the ball now, there to Paul Mariata, that's good tackling by Rovers. Paul Newell up there, bringing him down. So it's Phil McKenzie with the ball now, back inside, Windus now to Tony Marler, Tony Marler through the gap, this is marvellous play, this by Tony Marler, looking for his wingman, marvellous play this. Well, that's good tackling that by Paul Powell, on number five there, Jonathan Davis. So it's Derek Pike with the ball now, trying to throw this ball about now, trying to stretch feathers from Rovers, Phil McKenzie back inside there to M.O. to Cloto, but Cloto there, half stopped on that Feathers from Rovers 25-yard line there by Trevor Clark. It's still Rovers 6, Widnes 6. So it's David Jum now to Paul Mariati, Paul Mariati running it in, oh, and Aaron playing, eating me out there on the chest, he did one or two tackle like that at Warrington on Sunday, he'd, he'll think twice about coming again, so it's Alan Tate, that big up under. Alan Banks under tremendous amount of pressure here and brilliantly took that by Alan Banks. Never took it out of the ball, but I will say this, Witness looked offside there at that kick through, but referee says play on as soon as Alan Banks got that ball, he seemed to be hammered there. Seemed to be in front of the ball, one or two Witness players. So Jim Sharp there tries to bring play up to his own 25-yard line, but Paul Moriarty making the tackle. Now it's Trevor Clark's turn, he'll try to run it out. But no, through, no way through this Witness defence there, Richard Ayres driving him back. Number 13 there for, for Widnes. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now there, trying to bring it up to his own 25-yard line. Getting that pass by...
So Derek Fox there to Timmy Sharp. Timmy Sharp, that big kick throw, and it's back all on now. Derek, Alan backs with the ball. Will the referee wipe them tackles off? Referee says play on. So it's Mark Napper with the ball, Mark. Now Mapper running it in. That's the second tackle. Offside. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now there to Jeff Creation. Jeff Creation back inside there to Gary Rose. But Gary Rose there being held up in the tackle there by number 13, Richard Ayres. And number eight there, Derek Park. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox there to Jeff Creation. Jeff Creation there to number 10, Edda Playley. Edda Playley there to Chris Burton. Chris Burton trying to turn around, spinning the tackle. But David Jones there watching him all the way, making the tackle. So it's Trevor Clark now. Trevor Clark there, that... Ball back there to Gary Rose, Gary Rose will run it in. It's ball on Gary Rose there, trying to make progress. Two yards inside that witness half of the field. This will be the sixth and last tackle. So Trevor Clark now, Trevor Clark there, back to Derek Fox. Derek Fox, that big kick downfield. And that's good positioning there by number two there, John Devereaux on that wing, taking that ball. So it's witness now, Alan Tate there trying to bring it up to the halfway line, but to Featherson over to keep him pinned down there. And this is a good run in this by Derek Park, getting that ball away in the tackle. This is a good witness pressure, but Featherson over's really tackling well. It's still Featherson over six, witness six. Paul Moriarty, he's turned to run it in, but that's good art tackling that by Chris Burton. Making the tackle and Aaron Palayla there helping out, but Chris Burton didn't want no helping out that time. He made the tackle. That's good tackling here and smells right round the boat Layson and Trevor Clark and Gary Rose there making making that tackle. <laughs> and Featherson Hall was there being penalised there. The double mark was there but not in line as the referee says but that's been going off all all evening in this match. The double mark are not being right there and Colin Morris there just telling Jeff Grayson to get get back so here's another chance for Jonathan Davis to put two points on the board it's still Feathers from over six witness six so here we go Jonathan Davis just taking his time here he goes Chance to put two points on the board and he's well wide that time. It's still Feathers from over six, witness six. Oh, so Derek Fox there just giving the ball there to Ian Smales. I'm sure he put boat to ball, kick it straight down the middle of the field. There he goes. The ball's in the air. Alan Tate there getting back, catching that ball gun. He's on 25 yard line, but Derek Fox there straight up with play. He misses the tackle, but he just uh, stops him. Just enough there for his comrades to get up to make the tackle. So it's witness in possession now. On well inside the own half of the field. David Jones with the ball now, trying to get that ball out. But Richard Ayres there, being tackled there by Jeff Grayson there, making the tackle. Witness 10 yards inside the own half of the field. David Jones there, trying to go from acting half back. David Jones there to Colotto, but Pornyol of there, wrestling down. And Chris Burton there, diving on him, making sure of the tackle. So Richard Ayres there gets up to play the ball on the halfway line there, gets, gets the ball out there to Phil McKenzie, Phil McKenzie there to Derek Pike, Derek Pike there jumping out to one tackle, jumping out to two tackles, that's good play that by Derek Pike. But Featherson always there sticking to the task, they know that two points is vital tonight to get out of that relegation zone, and it's a bad mistake that, and, and it looks like offside to me, what's the referee going to do? So the referee gives the first defence a knock on. The man picked it up in an offside position, but the referee says no knock on. The knock on was the first defence, so that's the that's the role the referee's doing. But Featherson Rovers losing that ball, Edinburgh ball that time for the ball. But well, that's good tackling that Barley Bank, stopping Alan Tate there in full flight. Well that's that's one again the head for witness, the first again the head in this match. So Featherson Rovers seem to be doing all the tackling this five last five or ten minutes already. David Jones with the ball there, trying to get witness on this on the attack. But referee there, everybody shouting forward pass, but where are looks in the commentary box that ball was was good as far as I can see. It was was a good pass. So it's number six there, Tony Marley, Tony Marley there, dummy into kick, Tony Marley there, trying to use that blind side there, but Featherson Rovers there making the tackle, and he's lost the ball. So referee there will bring him back. There'll be no advantage given there. 
So another knock on that time now, so it'll be a scrum down halfway between the Feather Snowbus 25 yard line and the halfway line. So Dirty Fox feeds the scrum this time, Feather Snowbus get, get possession, Windus caught offside at that scrum. So it's a penalty kick to Featherston Rovers. Number four there, Darren Wright, and number one, Alan Tate there, caught offside at the scrum. So it's Derek Fox with this penalty kick now, trying to reach this witness 25-yard line. Well, there we are. So it's Derek Fox now there to Trevor Clark, Trevor Clark there to Jeff Grayson, Jeff Grayson taking him on, Jeff Grayson going down, Jeff Grayson back inside there to Gary Rose, Gary Rose there going for that trial line. Once again another marvellous split by the, the big number eight there for Feathers and Rovers, Jeff Grayson. And Gary Rose there trying to get up there to play the ball quickly but the, the witness plays there holding him down so it's a penalty kick to Feathers and Rovers, there should be a chance for there for Derek Fox to put two more points on the board, it's still Feathers and Rovers six. Witness six at the moment. <laughs> so here we go, did it Fox? This chance to put Feathers and Rovers two points in front. Jonathan Davis has just had the same chance minutes earlier. He, he failed, but did it Fox? Has he failed? No, he hasn't failed this time. Not for Feathers and Rovers anyway. It's Feathers and Rovers eight, witness six. So once again, Jonathan Davis this, kicking off Chris Burton there, just chesting that ball down. Referee says, play on Chris Burton there, running it out. That's good play by Chris Burton. That ball hitting him in the chest, so it's, oh, it's Pornyola now from acting half-back. Pornyola taking him on there from acting half-back. But number 12 there, Masul Col Colotto there, making the tattoo. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now, there to Aaron Palayla there, trying to run it in, but Aaron Palayla there stopped dead in his tracks and he's lost the ball there. And the referee there, saying lost the ball in the tackle so the scrums so the scrum movie form there David Jones to feed the scrum for Widness just about on that Featherstone Rovers 25 yard line got tackling by Widness there on Pillayley the Featherstone Rovers number 10 stopping him dead in his tracks making him drop that ball so it's number one there Alan Tate with the ball now trying to link up there with John Devereaux John Devereaux through the gap John Devereaux still going that's a good strong run that by the ex-Welsh rugby union player playing on the wing tonight normally a centre so it's David Jum now spinning this ball about now to Tony Marley. Tony Marley there looking for runners there. That's a good pass there to Richard Ayres. Richard Ayres throw the gap, but that's good, that's good defence by Feather Snowers. Alan Banks there bringing him down. So it's Darren right now getting that ball out now there to Derek Pike. Derek Pike there now to Paul Moriarty. Paul Moriarty stretching this Rovers defence now back inside there. It's all witness now trying to throw this ball about. Trying to stretch Feather Snowers defence. And it's still all on. Windus still trying to throw this ball about. Both Feather Snowers tackling well. That's good tackling that by Trevor Clark. And Windus playing on ball with this ball now. This is a good play now to Darren right. Darren right there bringing plays onto it. Jonathan Davis scores a try in the corner. Marvellous play by Windus, really throwing hand ball with that ball. And Jonathan Davis, beautiful ball that by Darren Wright. And Jonathan Davis scores the try, 10 yard in from, from the corner flag there to give Jonathan Davis not a simple kick with this conversion, but a better, a better chance of converting it. Brilliant play by Windus, moving the ball first from left to right, then from right to left, and Darren Wright, a perfect pass then. And Jonathan Davis scores 10 yards in to bring the score here at Post Office Road. Feathers from Rovers 8, witness 10, with his conversion to come from Jonathan Davis. So here we are, can Jonathan Davis convert this, his own try, here he goes, he's taking his time, he's concentrating hard, it's very rarely he misses them, which he doesn't, he's straight between the middle, another six points for Jonathan Davis, another six points for Widnes, Feathers and Rovers eight, Widnes 12.
So here we go, we'll start off again now. Derek Fox starting this game off now. Oh, and that's well took that by Richard Hayes, running it out. And that's cut tackling by Featherson Rovers here. Derek Fox picking up and dumping him in the tackle. That's Colotto with the ball now, trying to bring that ball away from his own 25-yard line. If Featherson's going to get out something out of this game, then we'll stop this witness side from running this ball out. Paul Murray out of there. That's good take that by the big second roll forward. So there we are, Jonathan Davis, big boat upfield. Tolland backs there, having to do a lot of running up and down, and Paul Powell there after that ball, but marvellous kick dive on it by Jonathan Davis. Alan Banks having to pick that ball up inside his own, off his own goal line. Being tackled there, 10 yards from his own try line. So Paul Powell now try to run it out. So once again, Featherstone was losing that ball on the very first tackle and Winder stretching this Featherstone over defence, Tony Marley with the ball now, trying to play football, trying to pass that ball on the line. So it's David Jones with the ball now, looks like a ooh, two, two or three men lining up for that ball there for Winder. Like certain scorers then, that would have got try saving tackle there by Tim Sharp or what it, Gary Rose, I don't know who it was. Ooh, that, so Windus this, tried, still tried to play handball. And number one there, Alan Tate scores in the corner. Windus make it look in this, all so easy. That try coming from the trialist swinger there. Losing the ball on the very, on the second tackle there when Jonathan Davis kicked the ball upfield. Featherson Rovers eight, Windus 16. So here we are, Jonathan Davis just looking at the post, looking at the ball, here he goes, strikes the ball. And he's missed that one that time, so the score remains. Featherson Rovers 8, Widner 16. Well, there we are, Derek Fox once again restarting this game. Oh, and John Devereaux there just turning around, getting that ball inside his own, his own try line area. And this time Featherson Rovers making the tackle. Tris Burton there making the tackle, but Paul Moriarty there running it out. That's good running by Paul Moriarty. Trying to make that 25 yard line. So once again, ball back there to Jonathan Davis. Big kick up field, making Featherson Rovers turn round. But that good bounce that Alan Banks taking that first bounce, he'll try to run it in. Marvellous tackling that by Emerson Colotto there. Told Derek Fox with the ball now there to Jeff Grayson. Jeff Grayson there to Pawniol up, Pawniol up there, trying to reach that halfway line, but it's good tackling this by witness. Darren right there tackling Pawniol up. So it's Paul Powell with the ball now there to Jeff Grayson there to Chris Burton. So it's Trevor Clark with the ball now there to Derek Fox, Derek Fox there to Tim Sharp, Tim Sharp there to Ian Smells, but Ian Smells, Smells there tackle 15 yards from the halfway line. But it's Playler there being tackled there just short of the halfway line, so it's Derek Fox there, boat to ball, kick it straight downfield, John Devereaux there taking his time, picking that ball up, it's all on. He'll try to run it out in his own 25 yard line now, trying to run it across field. But Trevor Clark there, making, the, making sure of the tackle. Referee says play on, so it's Alan Tate with the ball now. Alan Tate there, looking for runners there to... Big number 10 there, Mike O'Neill, but Mike O'Neill tackled on his own 25-yard line. It's still Rovers 8, witness 16. So it's big Colotto now, trying to reach this halfway line, but no way through that time. Gary Rose making the tackle, and the ball once again back there to Jonathan Davis. Big kick up field. And the ball rolling and rolling and rolling. I think that this time that ball will just rolled it. So it's Featherson Rovers a tap out on their own 25 yard line. So 
choice. Chris Burton there trying to make headway now, but well tackled there by his opposite number there. And Colotto again makes another tackle. That's good tackling by Colotto there, and he's lost the ball. So referee says play on. So Teddy Man in there picking that loose ball up. So referee there penalising the witness, witness team there for. So there we are, Derek Fox there just placing that ball this time, kicking it into touch. So the Rovers supporters really trying to get round the Featherstone Rovers team now. So it's Derek Fox to the ball now, Derek Fox there to Jeff Creation, Jeff Creation back inside there to Playley, but that's good tackling by witness. So it's Gary Rose from now, back now there to Derek Fox there to Jeff Grayson. Jeff Grayson there for Ian Smells, Ian Smells dancing round three, dancing round four of him. That's a good run in that by Ian Smells. But Witness once again looking offside there that I played the ball. So it's Derek Fox to the ball now, Derek Fox there to Jeff Grayson now to Parnell, Parnell taking him on. Parnell there to Roy Powell, and Paul Powell has he scored in the corner, yes he has. He scored in the corner. Paul Powell there scores the try in the corner. And once again that try there to Jeff Grayson there using the dummy run there from that Derek Fox pass and Paul Newell there getting that ball in there to just squeezing it in in the corner there to Paul Powell and Paul Powell scores the try and it looks as like if Jeff Grayson got a kick between the legs there but knowing Jeff he'll carry on well marvellous try that to Featherstone Rovers having to squeeze that out in the corner Paul Powell there just managed just getting that ball down after a, a good run about two or three seconds earlier by Rovers number 13 there Ian Smales Featherson Rovers 12, witness 16 with his conversion to come by Derek Fox and just look where he's taking it right on the touchline side. Well, there we go, and you can see how strong that wind is, that ball going straight across the face of the goal now. Featherson Rovers 12, witness 16. Once again, Jonathan Davis restarting this game, this time for Witness. So it's Featherstone Rovers now, Mark Napper trying to reach his own 25-yard line from that Jonathan Davis kick out. So Jeff Creation now there to Derek Fox, Derek Fox there, Derek Fox throw the gap. That's good running by the Rovers, scrum half. Gets up, plays the ball. So it's Jeff Creation once again with the ball now there to Chris Burton, Chris Burton there trying to fight his way out of tackles. Witness trying to pinch the ball in the tackle. Referee says it, that's okay. So it's Jeff Grace with the ball now there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox there. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox having to turn that ball back inside. Witness, Witness plays there really in an impossible situation there. Being miles offside, but the referee says play on. So the ball back there to Ian Smales, Ian Smales, ball to ball there, the ball is up in the air, Alan Tate underneath him, he doesn't miss many of them. So Alan Tate now trying to run it out, to Paul Newell there making the tackle, and Gary Rose up quickly indeed, also making the tackle, so it's Witness's turn now to bring the ball out to their own 25-yard line, Darren right there, big centre number four there. Being tackled by Aaron Pulele, so it's Witness now, Derek Pike there trying to move, move up to that halfway line, but Featherston Rovers beginning to get more into this game now it's still Featherstone Rovers 12 witness 16 so the ball back there to Jonathan Davis Jonathan Davis once again that big boat upfield making Mark Napper turn now Mark Napper taking that on the second bounce Mark Napper trying to bring it out of his own 25 yard line which he just does being tackled just about on his own 25 yard line so it's Terry Manning now with the ball and Terry Manning there and this time witness being caught offside and witness arguing with the referee But Colin Morris there, penalising Witness for offside there at, at that play of the ball, but just a, two or three seconds earlier from that, this looked to be offside there, but the referee says play on. So there we are, Derek Fox kicking that ball. 
finding touch just on that witness 25 yard line and once again they're always raw goes up it's still Featherson 12 witness 16 sorry it's Derek Fox with the ball now there to Ian Smales Ian Smales getting that ball back inside there to Derek Fox one handed but being tackled by number 11 there Paul Moriarty Derrick Fox there trying to play that ball. Richard Ayres pinching the ball there from the acting half back. Yes, so it's Rich. So it's Richard Ayres with the ball now. Richard Ayres there trying to bring the ball out of his own 25, but Jeff Grace there wrapping them big arms around him. So this game really hotting up here at Post Office Row. Feathers Rovers desperately needing two points to get out of it. Oh, and that looked like a forward pass to me, but referee says play on. So once again, ball back there to Jonathan Davis. Jonathan Davis, that big kick downfield. Making Mark Napper turn around for that ball, and that's good play by Mark Napper. Mark Napper getting that ball. So it's Terry Manning now, Terry Manning there going from acting half back. Gets up, plays the ball, Derek Fox using the blind side now. So it's Featherson always trying to make ground, coming down that left-hand side of the field. Gary Rose there being tackled just over his own 25-yard line. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox now, there. this time it's Gary Rose trying to bring it away. But that's good tackling by Paul Moriarty, making the tackle there on Gary Rose. So it's Timmy Sharp, Timmy Sharp there this time. But Alan Tate, that's good positioning by the witness number one. Alan Tate there is on his own 25-yard line, trying to make progress there, coming across the field. But Paul Newell there getting the measure of him. As soon as Alan Tate saw Paul Newell, he thought, I can't run around you, you're too fast for me. So he had to come back inside and Paul Newell made the tackle. And once again, that's good tackling by Rovers there. Tim Sharp straight round the boot laces. Gary Rose on top. What a game here, we've got a post of his role. Both sides throwing this ball about. Witness trying to make Rovers run about, but... Rovers at the moment sticking to the task. In a way, just being behind at the moment through their own silly mistakes. But witness they seem to knock on with that ball there. But once again, referee says play on. So it's David Jum now with the ball now there to Tone. Uh, Dallin Tate, Dallin Tate there to Paul Moriarty. Paul Moriarty there trying to look for runners. Gary Rose there making the tackle. Phil McKenzie with the ball now there to Tony Myler. Tony Myler to Alan Tate. Alan Tate there. This is good play now. There. This trying to get the ball back inside now. This is good play by Alan Tate. Alan Tate throwing that ball out wide there to Jonathan Davis. Jonathan Davis having to go in for the. But Paul Newell have had the measure of Jonathan Davis. Jonathan Davis thought he got the legs on him again, but Paul Newell of there outrunning him there, making the tackle. And Featherson always there with that little kick, little kick through there. Phil McKenzie there arguing with the referee and I think rightly so because when the witness player kicked that ball through one of the Featherstone Rovers players touched the ball before it went dead so Derek Fox with the ball there from Jeff Grayson there's a matter of two many men coming for that ball now so Gary Rose there going from acting up Gary Rose there trying to move them out of the way that's good running that by Gary Rose now it's heading playing now to Derek Fox Derek Fox that long ball out there to Trevor Clark there to Terry Manning Terry Manning throw the gap, Terry Manning going for that try line. Terry Manning tackled, he's just short. Fighting to get up to play the ball here. The referee says play on. So it's Matt Napper with the ball now there to Ian Smales. Ian Smales there trying to turn the ball, ball back inside. And it's all on, what a marvellous try. Trevor Clark there from Ian Smales. Ian Smales there making that try there. Marvellous play there to Trevor Clark. And just, just to show you that, Quickly, this game at Ubley can move. Penalty kick to Feathers Rovers on their own 25-yard line. When two or three play the balls there, Terry Manning there making the, making the run, run down the left-hand side of the field. And Trevor Klein there just bouncing over that try line there by a good play by Ian Smales. Feathers Rovers 16, witness 16.
And just listen to this crowd here at Post Office Road. Really rising to these two teams, both sides. And Derek Fox, can he put throws in the front, which he does. Featherston Rovers 18, Windows 16. So just getting back to that occasion just about two or three minutes previous when Mackenzie there was arguing with the referee one of the witness players did get the ball through and it, it did it to Featherstone Rovers play so it should have been a drop out from underneath of Rovers sticks but referee says no a 25 yard line so anyway getting back to the action now Terry Manning there taking that ball that bad awkward bouncing ball but Terry Manning there taking it cleanly just about a minute left for playing this first half now Rovers in front by 18 points to 16 now it's Gary Rose Trying to fight his way through these tackles, but being tackled there by number 12 there, Big Colotto. So it's Tris Burton now trying to come down the middle, but Pot Moriarty there straight round the boot laces. Good clean tackle by Paul Moriarty, so it's still it for the ball now. There to Jeff Creation. Jeff Creation there taking him on. Well, that's good tackling there by, I think it's Derek Pike. So Derek Pike there taking that ball quickly. It's all on Derek Pike there trying to throw that ball wide there to Jonathan Davis. Ooh, Jonathan Davis, wary of the man there. It's one eye on the man and one eye on the ball. Ooh. He looked a bit shaky that time, but you can't take his pace away from him. Paul Moriarty running the ball in hard. That's good running by Paul Moriarty. Last tackle coming up now. It's 18 points to 16 to Featherstone Rovers. Derek Pike with the ball now. Derek Pike taking them on. And there goes the half-time ulti there from Post Office Road. And what an absolutely enthralling and exciting first half. In fact, it's gone by that quick. I didn't know. 40 minutes have gone by. And witness the... Having withstood that pressure there when Gary Rowe scored that time, Derek Fox converted, really come back into it with, with two tries there to Jonathan Davis and two converts to Jonathan Davis. A try to Darren Wright and one to Paul Moriarty. Sorry, Jonathan Davis, just one try. Two conversions there to Jonathan Davis. Tried to Alan Tate, but just before half time there, a try there to Paul Powell, putting Featherstone was really back into this game. Then just before half time there, Trevor Clark there dancing his way over that try line to which Derek Fox converted to me the half time score aid from Post Office Road and what a thrilling second half we've got in store Featherstone Rovers 18 witness 16 Pen. Pen. welcome back to Post Office Pen. Road for this really enthralling Stones First Division Championship game for the Snowbirds, as I said before, is desperately needing two points to stay clear of that bottom three. But what a fight they've got on the hands here this evening. Just getting the noses in front there just before half time. Winning here at Post Office all by 18 points to 16. And referee there just waiting for Derek Park to come onto the field for witness. And Colin Morris there getting ready now. The ball's rolling on. Always going to stop the clock this time for the Sam Bucket to come on for Derek Fox. So here we are, Derek Fox there, referee getting this second half underway now. Oh, Derek Fox kicking it. Oh, it's a bad mistake. Unbelievable, that ball rolling through, I think it was. Number 10 there, Mike O'Neill. Number 10. Was it Mike O'Neill there or... Number 13, Richard Ayres losing that ball there. I was over, over his own try line. Well, bad mistake there by Witness, but there again, he will bat it by the over supporter behind that, them posts. So Paul Powell there picking that ball up, took it up well. That, that number two there, Rovers wingman. Brother of Roy Powell plays second row for Great Britain and Leeds. Plays at prop also. So it's Chris Burton now trying to make progress up to that Witness 25 yard line, but. No way through this witness defence. Derek Fox with the ball now there to Timmy Sharp. Back there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox trying to bury his way through there. But Richard Ayres there making the tackle. So it's Trevor Clark at Atten Arpat now there to Jeff Creation. Jeff Creation back inside there to Terry Manning. Terry Manning taking that ball. Had a fine first half, Terry Manning. Made that brilliant break in that very first minute. Set the try up there for Gary Rose to score. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Gary Rose. Derek Fox that quick, quick ball there. Paul Nolan right to that ball. Paul Nolan of this. Has he got the ball? Has he scored the try? Paul Newell scored the try! Colin Morris there, Alan Tate there, tackle Paul Newell up, and Paul Newell up there, Alan Tate rolled him over there with the ball for Paul Newell to put that ball over that try line. 
Marvellous try to pawn the Ola Wolves having a, a better game this evening. They were telling me on the coach coming back from Warrington on Sunday that he was just a bit worried, but over his lack of form, I kept saying, keep playing away, Paul, because it's got to come back. Your defence is right, your attacking flair will come back, and it's showing through tonight. Paul Newell, a marvellous try there from that Derry Fox kick through. Alan Tate there seemed to tackle Paul Newell, but he rolled him over in the tackle, and Paul Newell just popped that ball over that try line. Featherson Rovers 22, witness 16. So here we are, Derek Fox, the crowd silent on that touchline side. He knows how vital these two points are. He's got the eye, but he just hasn't got the direction. Featherson Rovers 22, winning the 16. <laughs> well, just getting back to that little kick throw there by Derek Fox. We saw on the scrum down the other way when all play witness them little kicks throw men witness think all the more there when Derek Fox kicked that ball they want to witness man there getting back to cover that kick throw Pornola there just having a, a clear run into the line there so this time there Paul Powell there tapping that ball with his shoulder with his foot there and Pornola coming across the across the field of play there bringing, bringing play up under his own sticks there being pushed back So in though Featherson over six points in front, them. they've got to bring the ball away from their own line. This is good tackling that by witness. So Featherson over there being tackled over the old, over their own try line. So Ian Smell's just got a bit of wind behind him. Must put this ball up in the air. Can he reach over this halfway line now? There's three players back for this ball. Alan Tate, Tony Myler. So number 12 there, Colotto, messing about with that ball, that's good play that by Paul Newell of getting up quickly, making the tackle. So it's Paul Mariotti, had a fine first down for, for Witness. Very big forward, done his state, stint to tap in the first, and it's bad mistake there, it's a referee will call there, a knock on. Witness play there, did right. Number 10 there, Mike O'Neill, knocking that ball on like a good professional there, killing the ball, kicking it back. Featherson Rovers could have easily picked that ball up. Like a good professional he was, kicking that ball back. So it's Derek Fox there to Timmy Sharp, Timmy Sharp there to Alan Banks, Alan Banks there, to nearly through the gap. Well, number three there, David Marsh back in the tackle. Now it's Terry Manning there to number nine there, Trevor Clark, Trevor Clark trying to bring it up to the halfway line. It's still Featherson Rovers 22, witness 16. So it's Jeff Grayson with the ball now. Jeff Grayson there, that ball there to Aaron Palayla, but Aaron Palayla there stopped dead in his tracks. That's good tackling by Witness. It's up, plays the ball. Gary Rose with the ball there. And there now, there to Derek Fox. Derek Fox there, that little dummy. Trying to bring the ball up to the halfway line, but Witness tackling well, sticking to the guns. Jeff Grayson now trying to get a line out here to Terry Manning. Terry Manning there to Ian Smale. Ian Smells there, trying to get the ball away there to number five there, Mark Napper. Mark Napper there, throw the gap, Mark Napper still going. Marvellous ball there by Ian Smells. Unbelievable pass by Ian Smells there to Mark Napper. Now it's Dilly Fox once again, that little kick. Big on, big kick on there, it's Alan Tate underneath the ball. Brilliantly took by the witness number one there in the Great Britain number one. Absolutely marvellous play that by Alan Tate, taking that big up number by Derek Fox. So it's all witness now, and the referee there spotting that knock on. So this time, pressure on that witness try line. Can Derek Fox, Trevor Clark between them win this ball for Featherstone Rovers? Can Featherstone Rovers work that, this move on round the scrum? Ian Smell's just having a word with Derek Fox. There's something on here. Derek Fox with the ball now there to Ian Smell. Ian Smell's here, that long ball out there to Teddy Murray. Teddy Murray there to Martin Appa. Martin Appa's going to try, but he's given it forward fast. He's given a forward pass as a referee. So referee there giving the forward pass. Martin Napper there seemed to win the race to the touch left, touchdown there, but referee there blew up there for the forward pass. Alan Tate now trying to come out in his own 25-yard line. 
Well, this time, Feathers from Rovers pushing Widness back with the ball. So it's up to Rovers now to keep him pinned back there. This is good play, this by Widness. What a marvellous run, this by Richard Ace coming down the middle of the field. But Teddy Man in there, wrapping his arms out. Oh, he's lost the ball. And Rovers, oh, Teddy, and Trevor Clark getting that ball. It's all on him, Feathers from Rovers. To number three there, Paul Newell. Paul Newell who nearly threw the gap. And Paul Newell is still going. After three tackles, after four tackles, Paul Newell tries to straighten up. This is better play by, marvellous play in fact by Featherston Rovers. Richard Ayres losing that ball there. After that marvellous run, Gary Rose in, it's all on. Danny Fox there picking that ball up. And the referee says a knock on. So penalty kick to witness Jonathan Davis. I'm not so sure, but I think he tried to knock the touch judge out of the way there. So there we are. Phil McKenzie with the ball now there to big Derek Pye there. Derek Pye there getting that ball up there to number 10 there. Mike O'Neill, Mike O'Neill, oh, it's a band, that's a knock on. So there we are, the scrum was formed, Derek Fox feeding the scrum, but the, the witness front row getting down before the referee says so. So penalty against Feathers from Rovers, Derek Fox there kicking that ball. Ten yards from that witness line and just listen to this, Feathers from Rovers crown cheering the team on. So it's Trevor Clark with the ball now there to Derek Fox, Derek Fox there to Pallele with the ball, Pallele with the ball there, throw but Paul Moriarty's tackle. Marvellous running by the Rovers, number 10. He's stuck some stick in this match, but he's still running. Gary Rose with the ball now. Gary Rose there, must stick hold of that ball. That's the second tackle. Of... Trevor Clark with the ball now. Trevor Clark there, going from acting out back. Trevor Clark taking the defence on. Tackle five yards short, so with Derek Fox now from acting out back. Derek Fox there. That's good because the line there to Jeff Grayson. Jeff Grayson, oh, he's just short, but surely there's a drop goal on here. A point will make all that difference in tonight's match. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Marvellous play that by David Hume. So it's Terry Manning now. Terry Manning, that little kick through, it's all on. But there, that's brilliant play, that. I think it's Derek Pike who scooped that ball up there from that Terry Manning kick through. So Witness withstanding that onslaught. But it's Witness now trying to bring the play, ball, ball away from their own try line. But it's up to Feathers from Rovers to keep him pinned down in that half of the field. So it's Paul Moriarty, this big second row forward there, taking this Feathers from Rovers pack on. But Dirty Fox there, the littlest man on the field there, making the tackle. Phil McKenzie now going from acting Harper, getting that ball inside there to Clotto. Clotto trying to run down, down the middle of the field now, trying to pass that ball away in the tackle. But Gary Rose there, hanging on for all he was there, making the tackle. Now it's David Marsh with the ball now there to... Big Derek Pye, Derek Pye there, dumbing one way, dumbing the other, getting that ball inside. But Feathers from Rovers there, sticking to the task, still still making the tackles. So it's Phil McKenzie there, going for Martin Harpak, very dangerous for Martin Harpak, Phil McKenzie there, trying to get the ball out there to Jonathan Davis. Or is it, jo or is it Darren Wright? Darren Wright, and that's the turnover. So it's Paul Powell now with the ball now, trying to run it out of his own 25-yard line. Gets up, plays the ball. So it's Derry Fox now there, trying to get his, trying to get his forwards motivated now. That's the, th that's the second tackle. So Derek Fox there to just to knock the ball on, but I will say this, it was same on this witness try line. Only a few minutes earlier, referee gave a knock on, but it looked to be going backwards, so that cancels that one out. That's David Marsh now trying to find the gap in this Rovers defence. Witness really stretching feathers from Rovers now. Oh, look where he's put. got feathers from Rovers offside, straight underneath the post. So a chance now for Jonathan Davis to narrow this gap. 
It's still Featherstone Rovers 22. Witness 16 with Jonathan Davis here. A chance here to narrow the gap to 22 points to 18. So here we are, Jonathan Davis, chance here to narrow the gap, here to go, strikes the ball, straight between the middle, it's not very often he misses them. Featherson was 22, witness 8, 18. So here we go, Derek Fox Reece starting this game. This time Jonathan Davis catching that ball over his own try line there. Making no mistake, getting that ball away there. And look at Windus here on the attack here. Alan Tate coming down the middle here. Alan Tate still going. Marvellous running that by Windus, running the ball out of their own 25 yard area. Jonathan Davis starting it off and look at Windus follows there. Looking for this ball there. Colotto with the ball now. Oh, there we go, Feather Snowbus player there, holding a witness player back there when witness referee quite correct there in that in that judgment there. Witness in full flow that time, running the ball out there and Featherson always play there, just holding the man back there from getting the ball. Referee right on the spot there, penalising witness. So it'll be number five there, Jonathan Davis once again, trying to narrow this point by a further two points. It's 22 points to 18 at the moment. Here we are, Jonathan Davis, another chance here to put two more, and he's, and he's flat with that kick. And Paul Powell there, trapping that ball. Paul Powell there, trying to run it out, but he's tackled just short of his own try line. Featherson Rovers now trying to get that ball out to their own 25 yard line. Witness there trying to keep him back. Derek Fox, that big kick downfield. Alan Tate coming across for that ball. Alan Tate still coming, the ball going and going, rolling by him. And look who's up there first, Jeff Creation. But Alan Tate there kicking the ball back. It's all on. And just look where that ball's bounced straight over Paul Powell's head and straight roll straight into touch. So it'll be a scrum form there on that Rovers 25 yard line, it'll be Derek Fox to feed the scrum. The ball's in, it's active for this Rovers, Tim Sharp there with the ball, but Tim Sharp there just slipping with that ball there. So Derek Fox with the ball now there to Ian Smells, Ian Smells trying to bring the ball back away, now getting that ball back inside there to Tim Sharp. Tim Sharp goes to play the ball now there to Gary Rose, Gary Rose there, trying to fight his way out to tackles, trying to come down the middle. Witness four was swarming all around him, making the tackle so. It's Trevor Clark now from Acton Arpat right now there to Derek Fox, Derek Fox there, kicking, kicking for possession, kicking that ball towards that touchline side, the ball's rolling and rolling. Marvellous kick there by Derek Fox. And this one over 22. Witness 18, but this is where Witness are most dangerous in their own. 25 yard area running this ball out up to Rovers here to just watching Alan Banks here the full back it's up to him to keep well back here he's going to be caught out in two minds no matter who plays in the full back position for the opposite side there but that's got tackling by Rovers there 
So Witness now trying to bring this play up to their own 25 yard line. It's Featherston always trying to keep him there. Paul Moriarty with the ball there, trying to run it out. Well, that's good tackling by Robert. I can see Chris Burton there involved with that tackle. And Aaron Pulele there. That's good tackling that by Ian Smells there. Rolling him over there, but Witness on their own 25 yard line. Really moving up now with the ball now. So it's Jonathan Davis with the ball now. Jonathan Davis there, little sidestep, but he still gets booked to ball. The ball's lost in the. So once again, Derek Fox to feed this scrum. The ball's out to Rovers, so Timmy Shout with the ball now there to Paul Powell. Paul Powell there trying to make progress up to the halfway line, sticking to that ball if his life depended on it. Oh, Timmy Shout now there to Derek Fox there to Gary Rose. Gary Rose there bumping to off. Big Gary Rose there coming. That's good play, that by Gary Rose. Not about shifting mountains. Gary Rose shifted two mountains with that run there. So Timmy Shout there, quick play of the ball, Timmy Shout there, running it in. That's good play back to, by Tim Sharp. So Derek Fox now from acting half back. Trevor Clark with the ball now there to Jeff Grayson. Jeff Grayson, that little pass out there. So it's his bell the ball, his bell's taking them on, his bell still going. Ball back inside there to Terry Manning. But Terry Manning there, tackle four yards short of that winner's try line. Unbelievable play that once again by his Mills getting that ball up there for. Sorry, Derry Fox with the ball now, Derry Fox there to Paul Powell, Paul Powell screaming for that corner flag. But being bundled into touch is still Featherston Rovers 22, witness 18 here at Post Office Road and what a thriller we've got. And that was the sixth and last tackle. So witness, play, that, play the ball, it's up to witnesses. Witness now to get out of their own 25 yard line, it's up to Featherston Rovers to keep him there and Paul Moriarty there running it in from his own from the acting half-back position, he doesn't want to be in that position, he wants to have a running start, but it's Phil McKenzie once again going from acting half-back. Rovers, Rovers should watch him. And just looking down here, it looks as if Joe Grimmer's getting stripped to come onto the field. But Mark Napper there having to turn down for this ball here. Picks it up just about on his own 25-yard line, referee says play on, so Mark Napper there being tackled there. Three windows plays, making sure of the tackle. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now. Look who's taking the first man here, Jeff Grayson. Don't tell Jeff Grayson he's 41 year old. He'll, he'll, not, he'll have none of it. He'll play like a three year old. So it's, so it's Derek Fox with the ball there. Derek Fox there. Bamboozled out of the ball, but Derek Fox there still. You can't do it! Still in play! So there we are, Colotto goes off the field and Joe Grimmer coming on for witness. So Derek Fox there, much to the relief of the Featherstone over supporters there. Gets up and plays the ball, looks like a nasty tackle, but Ian Smells there, kicks the ball downfield, Alan takes straight, right underneath him, taking Paul Newell, but Paul Newell once again wrestles his man to the ground. Four points still separating these two teams, but must say that Widnes every time they get under this ball, looking dangerous, but Rovers still tackling well. So first touch of the ball here for Joe Grimmer, trying to run it in. But Gary Rose there, straight round the boat laces, Jeff Grayson there, rallying his troops on, Jeff Grayson there, trying to get his tackle in there. But that's marvellous tackling, that. Tim Sharp there, just getting his fingertips to him there, making the tackle. So witness here, lying out here, trying to throw this ball across here. Got tackling there by Featherson Rovers there. Trevor Clark there, spotted his man there, followed him all, all across the line, making the tackle. So Derek Pike there, bringing the tackle out there, Paul Moriarty there, kicking the ball on. He knew it was the last tackle. Making Alan Banks there, there turn round, the spin on the ball, so Alan Banks taking it inside his own 25-yard line. Alan Banks tried to come away, that's good running by the Rovers, number one. Gets up, plays the ball, so Paul Powell now, 12 Powell trying to bring it up to his own 25-yard line. But Paul Moriarty there, making the tackle. Gets up, plays the ball. So Derek Fox with the ball now. Derek Fox there to Chris Burton. Chris Burton there trying to fight his way out of tackles. Hey. 
So Jeff Grayson with the ball there, taking this witness defence on. So Derek Fox once again, that big kick downfield, and Jonathan Davis underneath it. Oh, Jonathan Davis nearly makes a mess on it there. We Alan Tate, Jonathan Davis running it in. But once again, Pawn, Pawn all of there makes the tackle. So witness there for the first time in the match. Just, just looked that little bit disorganised there at that play of the ball. Roll was moving up to him very quickly indeed. And once again looking a bit disorganised. Joe can move the ball now. Trying to come down the middle. It's up to Featherson to keep knocking him back. Gary rolls there straight round the ball lace. And once again Windus on the rampage here now. But that's good tackling there. Throwing the ball out here. It's all on Windus looking nice every time they throw the ball out there. Tony Marley back inside here. This looks dangerous here to John Devro. John Devro and it's all on. Oh, he's got this ball now. Trying to pick the ball up there. Number three there, trying to make his way to that Rovers try line, David Marsh. Well, there we are, the referee there sending Alan Tate off there for mouthing. So, penalty kick to Featherston over, so Derek Fox. Kicking that ball there, just short of this halfway line. Oh, that's Jeff Grayson, halfway through the gap there, just trying to pop that ball up. But Paul Moriarty and number 10 there, Mike O'Neill, making the tackle, shugging him to the ground. So Derek Fox with the ball now, getting that ball back inside there to Hedda Playley, Hedda Playley coming down there, Hedda Playley on a strong roll, Hedda Playley still going, Hedda Playley shrugging him off there, left out, Hedda Playley still going. What a marvellous run that by the big Rovers, number 10, a quick play of the ball here, they've got Windy stretched, they're missing a the man out here now, Alan Batch getting that ball out wide now there to Pornul, Pornul there to Paul Powell, Paul Powell having to come back inside. Gets up, plays the ball, Pawnee all over the ball now there, Pawnee all there to Alan Banks, Alan Banks there to Chris Burton, Chris Burton there tackled 10 yards short of that, Witness try line still, Featherston Rovers 22, Witness 18, so Dirty Fox with the ball now, Dirty Fox there now to Ian Smales, Ian Smales there trying to unknow the ball, lost the ball in the tackle, referee says knock on, referee there in a very good position, well this time Featherston Rovers really got Witness stretched there, moving the ball from left to right and right to left, but just that little pass to him and in there, referee right on the spot there, awarding the knock-on. So David Jones there, feeding the scrum, it's out to witness. So Tim Sharp there, making the tackle on Tolly Myler very quickly indeed. Oh, this is a good run, this bad, marvellous tackle by Aaron Palela there, getting back. That's a good tackle by the big number 10. So Windus turn now to attack this Feathers from over defence what a match here at Post Office Road and David Jones there getting that ball inside there to Phil McKenzie there to number 10 O'Neill there and it's O'Neill there Windus there picking that ball up it's back to six Witness here, got a full line out here, throwing, still throwing this ball about, Rovers got to tackle to keep him out, Witness throwing this ball about to Joe Grimmer, Joe Grimmer there trying to shrug him off, that's good tackling by Rovers, number nine there, Trevor Clark making the perfect tackle, stopping man and ball, so it's Jonathan Davis with the ball now, Jonathan Davis, that little kick throw, marvellous play that, I can't just see all that is who took that ball, I think it's Gary Rose there, yes it is, Gary Rose taking that ball there from that Jonathan Davis kick, Marvellous play that by the Rovers, second row forward there, getting down for that ball, so it's Ian Smells trying to meet up to his own 25-yard line. 
But number 13 there, Richard Hayes stopping him dead, making the tackle. So it's Chris Burton with the ball. Trying to make headway through this witness defence, but Paul Moriarty there, the number eight there, Derek Pike, but Derek Fox there, trying to turn witness round. It's all on. I think I think Trevor Clark there losing that ball. It's all on. Trevor Clark there just seemed to didn't know where that ball was, but coming over his shoulder there, just lost the ball for a second. So Windus got possession half. So it's Phil McKenzie going from acting half back. And this time, Windus there, they're trying to play 100 mile an hour football, knocking that ball on. It's still Feather Snowbus 22, Windus 18. Fourteen minutes left for play here at Post Office Road. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now there to Timmy Sharp. Timmy Sharp there trying to take Richard Ayres on, but Richard Ayres getting out of the back very quickly indeed, making the tackle. So Alan Bax now from acting out back. Alan Bax spotting the spotting the gap. Alan Bax there, spotting the gap. Alan Bax there, turning to the inside. Alan Bax still going. Marvellous play of that by the Rovers, number one. He had vision to see the gap there. So it's Derek Fox with the ball now there. Derek Fox there, get, getting that ball up there for Gary Rose. Gary Rose there trying to fight his way out of tackles. So Timmy Sharp with the ball now there to Derek Fox, Derek Fox there to Jeff Creation, Jeff Creation turning the ball back inside. So Terry Manning now from acting half back, Terry Manning taking them on. Oh, that was a windless man there seemed to clash there with Terry Manning. Terry Mann in there, running that ball in there from the acting half-back position. And the witness man, I don't know, is it, I think, is it Joe Grimmer? Oh, it is. Oh, he clashed with there, he come the worst off. And the witness play there, mouth into the referee. The referee awarding Featherstone was a penalty kick. It's still, at the moment, Featherstone was 22, witness 18 with his penalty kick from Derek Fox to come. No, 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 no. Nobody knows how... More vital, this penalty kick is here for Derek Fox. This will put him, this, this team six points back in front. Just give him that little bit of a cushion. Here he is. Derek Fox tries the ball. Has he got it? Straight between the middle for Derek Fox. Featherson Rovers 24, witness 18. I just noticed there when Derek Fox were kicking that goal, Jeff Grayson there was just asking the referee what, what his TikTok had to say. Well, I can tell him now there's 11 and a half minutes left for play. So it's Derek Fox there getting that ball there to Paul Powell. Paul Powell there being tackled on his own 25 yard line. So Derek Fox there, getting that ball away there for Chris Burn. Chris Burn trying to come down the middle, that, that's back to one. So that's the first tackle. Wouldn't just kick in through there at the play the ball. So Alan Banks there, having to go back, regather that ball. Bad mistake by Featherson Rovers, throwing that ball loosely in their own 25 yard area. So Gary Rose there, still trying to fight his way out of tackles. So plays the ball, so it's Derek Fox with the ball. Derek Fox, that big kick downfield. He says, we'll play this in the odd area. Look at that kick by Derek Fox. Marvellous kick by the Rovers. Captain there, Derek Fox. Really turning, turning witness inside and out. So it'll be a scrum down on that witness 25-yard line. It'll be David Jump to feed the scrum. And dare I say it again, this is where witness are the most dangerous when they're backing down in their own... 25 yard area getting this ball from the scrum I'm just looking at Alan Banks you see he's going back again is Alan he knows how dangerous they are at these set situations so it'll be David Jones to feed this scrum for witness the ball's in it's out to witness that little dummy there from David Jones there taking him on but So penalty kick to witness this time. Feather Snow was obstructing a witness play there from getting to the ball. So here we are, number five there, Jonathan Davis finding touch just about on the halfway line. Six more tackle for witness. 
Witness yet to score a try in the second half. <coughs> so it's Moriarty with the ball there. Moriarty running it in strong. That's good, strong running. He's had a fine game this afternoon. That's Paul Moriarty, ex Welsh rugby union player. So Witness now trying to do the run around here. Richard Ayres here coming down the centre, but Ian Smells there picking his opposite number out there, making the tackle. That's good tackling that by Ian Smells, but the most steady of this. That's good tackling by Timmy Sharp from Martin Harper. But gets Bob he gets that ball there to Richard Ayres there. And that ball to Mackenzie there, back inside here. Darren Wright running across field, still going. Getting that ball up there. And Alan Tate there getting that ball now to Tony Marler. Tony Marler there, it's a good try. But how did Alan Tate come back onto the field? And he went off at 22 and a half. He went off at 22 and a half. He's coming back at 31 and a half. He's only been off nine minutes. Well, no way he couldn't back up. Nine minutes. Did it happen? When they stop the clock, does their time, does their watch carry on? Or does it, when they stop the watch, does the watch stop? Then he watches it. Off the Nine minutes of the match. John Devereaux, number two. So I'll try there to John Devereaux in the corner, but just asking the timekeeper, Alan Tate to me, well, off the field just for nine minutes before he took handle that ball. So here we are, Jonathan Davis. He kicked one like this at Wayfield last week, but he hadn't kicked that one. So Rovers can breathe, still breathe. It's Feathers Rovers 24, Windus 22. So here we are, Rovers once again kicking off. Just hanging on to this two-point lead at the moment. Witness getting that ball from that kickoff now and trying to retire to their own 25-yard line. Richard Ayres there, being tackled there by Derek Fox inside his own half of the field. And Phil McKenzie coming down the middle. Phil McKenzie still going. Getting that ball up there for Moriarty. That's good play by Phil McKenzie. So Phil McKenzie now from acting up there, getting that ball up there now. Witness nearly on the ramp, he's now Derek Pike with the ball now, trying to turn it back inside. It's up to Rovers to keep tackling like they've done all this match, stopping Witness from playing. Phil McKenzie getting rid of that ball there, but Aaron Playley there making the tackle. So it's Derek Pike with the ball there, getting that ball up. It's all on there to Joe Grimmer, Joe Grimmer pushing two men, pushing three men up. Joe Grimmer getting that ball there, but beautiful tackle that by Gary Rose. And Alan Banks picking that loose ball up, but Gary Rose there, making him lose that ball in there in that tackle. So Tim Sharp there trying to fight his way to his own 25-yard line. It's still Featherston Rovers 24, witness 22. Oh, and witness looked offside there at that play of the ball. Chris Burton there trying to yeah, reach out to his own 25-yard line. So Trevor Clark, it's it, Trevor Clark, it's Terry Manning now from the own acting half back now. Terry Manning there pushes two tackles up, but Paul Moriarty stops him. So it's Derek Fox now, Derek Fox looking for this touchline side, Derek Fox there making John Devereaux turn, turn his send round here. John Devereaux there running back for that ball, but the ball just beating him dead there, rolling dead. Fatherson must regroup there, Jeff Drayson telling him to regroup. So it's witness here, they're lining up for this ball there. That's good play there, that's good tackling by Mark Napper. On number 10 though, John Devereaux. So it's Alan Tate now from Acting Napa now to Derek Pike. Derek Pike there, getting that ball across there to David June. David June there, trying to throw that ball across there to Tony Myler. But Tony Myler driven back, tackled 10 yards inside his own half of the field. What a game here, we've got a post office road. Really exciting stuff. Ooh, 
Ooh, Tol Crisburn there, just going down for that ball, and that's a big fly kick. Where's the ball going? Oh, look at that bounce there. Alan Bounce taking that ball there, getting past Paul Moriarty. Alan Bounce here on a run. Alan Bounce coming down the middle. Marvellous run that by Alan Bounce, they're always full back. So it's Paul Newlam now, Paul Newlam now, trying to come down the middle, trying to open up. In the last four minutes here now at post office, oh, Derek Fox with the ball now, Derek Fox there to Ian Smales. Well, there's one thing for certain, I think the next try will be the match winner. Four minutes left for play now, Derek Fox with the ball now, Derek Fox there to Jeff Grayson, Jeff Grayson trying to pop that ball up for Derek Fox, but too many winners plays crowding round him. So Gary Rose now from acting half pack. Gary Rose now to Tim Sharp. Timmy Sharp there looking for this corner flag. This a marvellous kick by Timmy Sharp. The ball rolling and rolling. Just manages to get in touch there. Two yards on the corner flag. So it'll be a, a five yard scrum. So oh, there we are, David Jones feeds the scrum, we all saw where that went, but the referee says play on. So Alan Tate there, trying to fight his way out to tackles there. So win the snack. Number two there, John Devereaux getting it to Alan Tate, Alan Tate there, Alan Tate doing the run around there, Alan Tate got room on inside here, Alan Tate, beautiful tackle by Aaron Pulele there. Marvellous cover tackle by the Rovers, number ten. And it's number 10 now, Mike O'Neill there, getting that ball up there to David Jones. David Jones throwing that ball about there to Joe Grimmer. Joe Grimmer there, but Timmy Sharp there, getting that, that ball. And who's got that ball there? And the referee spotted a knock on. The referee spotted a knock on, rightly so. It'll be a scrum down halfway between the Windus 25 yard line and the Rovers halfway line. Barely minutes ticking away now. Just two and a quarter minutes left for play in this match here at Post Office Road. Two and a quarter minutes left for play. It's still Feathers Rovers 24, Windows 22. Derry Fox to feed this scrum. It's out of Feathers Rovers. Derry Fox with the ball now there to Alan Banks. Alan Banks linking up. Alan Banks there. We're going to pass it to the Rovers physio there. Alan Millward. <laughs> so it's Terry Manning with the ball now. Terry Manning there trying to run it in. So Mark Nappy now with the ball, Mark Nappy there to Gary Rose, Gary Rose taking that ball short, he's the Rovers man of the match this evening and rightly so. He's had some marvellous matches since Rovers signed him on from Keithley for £20,000, what a bargain he's won. Look at Jeff Grayson running it in, look at Jeff Grayson taking him on. Marvellous run that by Jeff Grayson. So it's Trevor Clark now there to Baird and Playley, Baird and Playley, driving towards that try line and he's lost the ball in the tackle. But it's up to Rovers to keep Windus pinned down here on this try line. A referee there stopping the clock. And it's a shirt to replace number 10, Aaron Pulley. So there we go, Airy Plainy there being stretched off, Andy Fisher replacing him. But in the last minute and 20 seconds of this game, it's up to Rovers to keep him pinned down there. Number 10 there, Mike O'Neill with the ball, pushing the man off. So it's Windus now trying to come out of the own 25 yard line. It's up to Rovers, I keep saying it, to keep him back down there. So quick, quick tap there by Phil McKenzie there. It's up to the 45 seconds left for play now. Windus trailing by two points there. And referee there spotting that knock on. So it'll be a scrum down. Be a scrum down now on this Windus 25 yard line. Just about half a minute left for play now. Half a minute left for play here at, at Post Office Road. Feathers Rovers 24, Windus 22. And Derek Fox winning that ball, Trevor Clark, as you say, winning that ball to Timmy Sharp. Tim Sharp running it in. Seconds ticking away now here. Ten seconds left for play. Rovers have surely got two points in the bag here. Derek Fox there now to Terry Manning. Terry Manning throw there. Terry Manning going through. Terry Manning going. Ah! Oh, Terry Manning! Terry Manning scores a try! And that is that clinching it. Unbelievable scenes here at Post Office Road. Terry Manning played from Attenhouse back there. Saw the gap. 
shot through it like a bullet out of John Gump. John Wayne's gun there and took Alan Tate on the score. The match winning try at the side of the post. Featherstone Rovers 28, Winders 22 with Derek Fox's conversion to come. So here we are, Mark Napper there taking over. Goal kicking Joe to Derry Fox has got it kicked, Mark. And Mark replies, Mark kicks the goal. Featherson Rovers 30, Winders 22. And there goes the final out here from Post Office Road. A marvellous victory for Featherson Rovers. Fox and one goal there to Mark. And just listen to this crowd, I can hardly hear myself think here. In reply, Alan Tate to try, John Devereaux a try, Darren Wright to try. Jonathan Davis a try, Paul Moriarty a try, and three Jonathan Davis goals there to bring the full time score here to, from Post Office Road. And this is no good for anybody's art here. Featherstone Rovers 30, Winners 22. Fantastic scenes here at Post Office Road. Jeff Grayson there, signing autographs coming off the field. Marvellous scenes here at Post Office Road. Everybody going away quite happy. That is the Featherstone Rovers supporters absolutely tackling in the second half. Unbelievable, Rovers just clinging on to half time there, leading by 18 points to 16, and never fell from behind in the second half. 22 points 16, then 22 18, then 24 18, and then that finally that Teddy Manning, unbelievable, he shot through the gap there, saw the gap there. Alan Tate there taking him on, but Teddy Manning there just dived over that try line. Mark Napper converting, we'll leave it here from Post Office Road. Feathers from Rovers 30, witness 22. Good afternoon and welcome to Post Office Row for this Stones First Division Championship game between Feathers and Rovers and Salford. The Feathers Rovers just team just coming onto the pitch before I mention the teams. Just a, a word there for the Feathers and Rovers mascots today. It is Laura Dunn, eight year old, and a little brother I think is a bit shy. Is James Dunn who's four? I think the occasions are just a little bit too big for him. The parents there, Neil Dunn and Maggie Dunn. Brilliant supporters of Featherston Rovers go home and away to every match. No, I think I think the occasion's just got to and Peter Fox here, the Featherston Rovers coach there. Peter there trying to trying to get him to come onto the field. I think Peter Fox there, you know. I think the occasion's just too big for these tournament years. And what and what a great, marvellous thing that by Peter Fox there. Walking onto the field there with young Lord, eight years of age.